I've been out of it, so. Ready? I'm trying to remember last time. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. I'm... Oh, go ahead. No, 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 you go, because all I remember is Raven. I don't remember anything else about what we did two weeks ago. I, I think we just goofed off, basically. Yeah, that, so. it, it was basically like you guys, we came back to the base, um, and then you guys talked to like Morgantha, and you talked to her daughter, and then you went and talked to the wolf, and you basically talked to everyone. And yeah, I don't... I, I know. almost died. I know we took the wolf with us. I know we took, or we left Rose, and we asked her like what kind of bodies she would like brought back to her. And then, um, yeah, I honestly can't remember after that. Benor wasn't the most participatory right, in that the... episode. It's okay. Yeah, we we're gonna meet Nimona and uh, the crew halfway, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless we accidentally somehow passed them through the mist already. Wasn't that something? No, 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 no. no, no. Because... Just gone over the bridge. Okay. Yeah, if you look at the map, it shows that we're not we're not there yet. Okay. So we'll oh, yeah, we did send them down right before. So I'm not. Yeah, and then we met, and then we met uh, Raven in the yeah. fog. And then we... Weren't we just still deciding whether to go back at least to try the chest again, or were you going to move on? No, 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 I, I don't think we were going to try the chest again. <laughs> we almost got murdered the last time we tried the chests. We're, cause we, we did the Chimera, and that was good enough, so I think we're yeah. off to try to did make it to the... Like yeah, we're going to go to the Fistani camp. And do we identify all the uh, magic items? Uh, yes. Yes. Think so. Okay. It was the shield and javelin. Um, that's right. Okay. I I yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You'll have to do everything. It's yeah. Oh, the light and javelin. Oh yeah. Lightning, yeah. Oh yeah. And I found a wand. Yeah. I think right? of a code word. Yeah. Wand of the War Mage. Yeah. Fancy, fancy. So who did that one? It was Bendar. Bendar, yeah, you yeah. take the uh, inspiration or the uh, gold. Five gold. Uh, uh, I forget what the hell is inspiration for again. You gives you advantage. Oh, on any particular you spend thing it I before want. you roll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I say the gold. Okay. Okay. Buy gold. And there's quest for the breastplate. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's so hilarious. It'll never come to fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it, I'm going half plate now. <laughs> or no, and then eventually you're just you're gonna go and buy one and then we're gonna go to a dungeon and one's just gonna drop and you're gonna find it. Oh, oh, murder arena, she had one. Oh, um I did have a question though. Um on ideas. Okay. Yeah, on hindsight on Bendar, I feel like I I don't know if there's a way I can um switch like his uh cuz I I don't need I don't have no he doesn't have need for stealth. I don't know why I always try to include stealth in my characters. What he really needs is like um instead of stealth uh like history or religion to match his like knowledge of the planes. So I don't know if there's any like in game way I can do that or of out your, of character um, way. Yeah you can retrain. Um is it one of your skills from your class? Yeah, and that's what I was thinking like I can go back maybe if I can go back in my character sheet and switch one of those from like say stealth to religion or Whatever would be uh, more useful toward like planner knowledge. Well, planner knowledge is straight up just Arcana. Arcana, okay. So, oh, well, I guess I'm already proficient in that. Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah. there's really no need That's to do anything. That's all going to be under. Okay. Arcana. Okay, I'm cool. Ow. That was too much. So. Y'all return as y'all are standing next to the large rock that Raven was standing on. Or sitting on. She still looks a little spooked. Missy e is no longer with her for the moment. Missy e has to go do other things. Let me get y'all back to the map y'all are on. Boop. What would you like to do? Uh, you said the fog was still closing in? The fog has just always been there. It's not the dangerous fog y'all dealt with in the past. Yeah, and so if I remember correctly, Raven was saying that she walked in in a direction and just kept ending up back at this rock. And I thought we were going to set out and see if we experience the same thing or whether we can actually break through. Yeah, I believe that's what y'all are going to do. But we have y'all yet to a left. We left right as y'all were leaving, I believe. Yep. So is there anything I would like to do before moving back down the road? Um... Yeah, as we start to set out, Dragonette would like to have a private conversation with the characters who are here, the the, the all the player characters that are here. So she was going to ask Rose to walk with Raven, just kind of go ahead a little bit, and then Dragonette was going to talk to the others, including um, uh, Miss E, but she's not here, so that's all right. That's fair. Rose gives you a raised eyebrow, but doesn't say anything about it. Her and the fox move up ahead. With Raven? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so the, the comment I would make to the rest of the group is um, I want to briefly tell you a little bit about where I came from. Um, I, my parents were killed and I was sent to an orphanage in Waterdeep. One of the things that the thing that caused me to run away from the orphanage was that I found out that the, the people running the orphanage were selling children into slavery in Waterdeep. Uh, which is exactly what Raven is doing or what Raven does where she came from. Uh, I also know what happens to slaves once their owners are done with them uh, or they displease their owners. I was sneaking out of the city uh, due to some circumstances, details I don't need to go into right now. But when I was sneaking out of the city, I was going through the sewers and I came across the pit, uh, which is an area of the sewers in Waterdeep near the harbor where the bodies of all the killed or starved slaves are dropped so that the, when the rains come, the bodies wash out into the, into the ocean. Um, so if Miss E intends on returning Raven back to her family, uh, I, I need to convince her not to do that because it's a death sentence. Uh, so I, I just want you all to know that I have absolutely no intention of helping Raven get home. All right. Just a heads up, based on what I remember from uh, Missy, I don't think that's the path she was going. I think Missy was going to be looked like she was going to plan on stealing Raven. Okay, that's fine. That I'm just letting everybody know that it'll be a uh, it would be a much a much more uh, easy and graceful death if we just um, put an arrow in the back of her neck rather than oh. her back home and give her to her brother. Uh, so, yeah, all I'm saying is I have no intention. I'm not saying I'm going to do that. I'm saying I'm going to have no intention of helping her at home. What you say sounds yeah, reasonable. Need, right? Makes sense. Keep an ear out for uh, Robin. But very well. Do you think he's actually her brother or do you think he's an owner? I think he's actually either her brother or a guardian, but he's like a, he's a pimp. Whether he's her, whether he's her blood, blood brother or not, he's her pimp.
Yeah, I mean, as time goes along, we'll probably learn more about the girl situation as things become more clear to her. So, but yeah, at the same time, I don't think uh, if we do end up going to Waterdeep, maybe we should leave her back somewhere. We wouldn't be able to wander. Anywhere close to yeah, and if he's lost in the mist here too, he's probably going to die anyway. So. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, that's all I got. I'm, we can we can follow the uh, follow the others now. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, by the way, I can detect thoughts now. So, if that skill ever becomes useful, let me know. Not are mine. Gonna, are you gonna read our thoughts? I was gonna say if you try to do that without telling me, we're gonna have words. <laughs> hmm. I appreciate the honesty, though. Yeah, if you learned how to pra if you learned how to read minds, who have you been practicing on this whole time? I actually haven't used it yet, but now, now I, you know, in case we meet someone, you know, <laughs> we need to read their mind. Just let me know. I can also do it subtly so they don't know. And you're just going to have the See, thought of like, why is Bendar staring at me so intensely? Yes. <laughs> As y'all are talking, you'll see up ahead of y'all as Rose and Raven moved on ahead. Rose is turned to look back. She's still walking. But she's looking at y'all cur curiously. Okay, yep. Yeah, let's pick up the pace. Let's get get some moving. As she notices y'all noticing her, she immediately snaps forward again with a little jump. Y'all continue along your way. The road underneath you, just the same as it always is. The dark, murky pools pretty much all over. The trees on the side of the road still dark almost dead and definitely not friendly. And you make your way along, one step after the other. Until you walk into what looks like a small clearing, and in the center of it stands a large rock. Okay, is it the same rock? Because remember, we put, we put something on the rock, or didn't we mark it or something so that we knew whether it was going to be the same rock? Does anybody else remember that? I don't. Oh, crap. I thought we marked it. I don't right. think you did. Is there any way like a rock, tell, though. Yeah. Is there you any way to tell, like, looking around at the base of the rock, whether this is the exact same one we were at, or whether it's just another rock? Uh, roll me intelligence. Maybe we can find our own footprints. You do hear... A little gasp from a... It's more of a sigh from Raven. And Bendar, Dragonette, yeah, this looks like the same rock, as far as you can tell. You see the same curves. Nothing to tell you exactly that this is my rock. But as far as you remember, this looks like the same goddamn rock. I start to, like, richly cast Detect Magic as well. Alrighty, so Flint's going to sit down and get some, doing some casting. What's everybody else up to while he's doing that? Hmm. I'm going to mark the rock just to make sure. What you going to mark it with? Um, I don't know. Can I... Is there like a, a, just a stone on the ground and I can, I can just carve a shape in? Into the, the Ramir's just going to run up and just smack the rock with his, with his <laughs> maul as hard as he can. Rollery to attack. Where is it? There it is. You slam in. You bring your hammer down. Boom. Your aim was a little off, and you glance off, only getting a small chunk as the electricity. 
just kind of arcs into the ground. I want to pick up the chunk of rock that I broke off. Hand it to Dragonette. There you go. There's your mark. Got it. All right. I'm going to put that in my, my pocket just so we can match it up when we come here again. All right. This is obviously magic. I'm looking at Bendar. I don't know crap about any of this stuff. But uh, what do we do if we're trapped in a magic loop? Yeah, I don't have a what lot of... I should point out as you're... What? As you're picking up the uh, rock, Grimir, the stone feels wrong in your hand. Like too light? Too heavy. You kind of test its weight in your hand. It's definitely too hard to be a normal Swedo. If you're not mistaken, this feels more like some kind of metal to you. Huh. Well, as long as it doesn't come alive. It stands up. I'm kidding. Awesome. I just want to test something. Okay. I'm going to pull out my holy symbol. I want to touch it to the piece of metal in my And what are you doing when you touch it to the rock? Just make a prayer, see if it does anything to the rock. I don't know. It remains still. All right. It doesn't get up and try to beat you. Yeah, I don't think it's demonic at that point. But as you're doing so, after a second, just as you're pulling it away, you see a strange mark appear in the center of the rock. The rock I'm holding, or the rock on the, the ground? The rock on the ground. The big one. Do you recognize the symbol? Can I make a check on it? You don't need to. It's written in Dwarven. Oh. Oh. All it says... It's the symbol... You know, from it's something that shows up in ancient, in old caves that have been taken over, or maybe they get down into the underdark. But you'll see it on tunnels that have been closed off. Oh. It is effectively the word danger. Mm. Allies under the earth. Well, that's interesting. And after a couple seconds, the sigil fades away. So I think either this stone is a marker of some kind of danger, or at least a warning sign of present danger, if we end up going forward. But it's a hidden symbol, too. So what does everyone else think? It's a rock that says danger? Yes. That's what the that's what the, the the sigil is it used to denote that the thing itself is dangerous or is it so, there's no. danger ahead That's it's kind of hard to say No it's not that's exactly what it is no. danger ahead it's put on no, tunnel it's like at the front of the tunnel hey there's shit yeah. up there All right so danger yes it's, it's, like it's, if the tunnel goes down into the underdark there's a dragon down there. There's something yeah. that way that you or should the... not go that way. Yeah, so I'm wondering which way is that way. It's either, is it the rock itself or is it the rock, like, pointing to something? It's, or is it... Yeah, that's, well, that's know, I'm someone can walk that, you know, that direction past the rock. Wait a sec. What if this is a giant gravestone? Of danger. Yeah, what if they buried something here that wasn't meant to be dug up? I mean, it's a marker for a tunnel, you said. Yeah. So Every maybe they capped off the tunnel with tunnel. the rock? Maybe. To seal in whatever danger? I should also point out that most dwarven markers are going to be for tunnels. They kind of live underground. 
Yeah, okay. so I don't see a tunnel, so. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I think we should maybe stay away from the rock. <laughs> well, if it keeps sending us back here, maybe that's some kind of magic that's, I don't know, meant to keep others away from the rock, but it's trapped us in the rock. Well, not in the rock, but in the vicinity of this rock. Yeah, maybe. So, if it keeps sending us back, then we might have to investigate this further and maybe see about, I don't know, taking this rock off and see if there's a tunnel underneath. I mean, if that ends up being our only way out of it, that's what it'll come down to. You also have to wonder how you're going to get that rock up. That thing is massive. It's a boulder. Right. Yeah. So you have to either break it or something. Can someone try to push it, see if it like moves or rolls? Are there symbols on the other rocks? Nope, just that one. Uh, don't worry, we have to try and push a boulder. <laughs> Uh, any dwarven yeah. phrases? The uh, open sesame. Not that I can think of off the top of my head. <laughs> any ma detecting any magic there, Flint? He's still in the middle of casting. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm almost done with my ritual circle. Yeah, we should we should see what maybe if he can detect anything. I forget maybe the ruin. A better direction. Is the ruin um? Like some kind of uh, a specific language that we know, or the symbol? Yeah, dwarvish. dwarvish. Dwarvish, okay. Oh, okay. It's That's the dwarf recognized it. Gotcha. Sorry. All right. So, is there y'all going to attempt to push it? I think we should wait until, uh, until detecting magic, I think. And then, then from there, I think we'll go ahead and. Side. That's that's my opinion. Well, you two are the strongest. Physically. I'm just yeah, but I don't want to push it and if it says danger, you know, there's a good chance that if it does open something it could be booby trapped. You wanna keep throwing well, your hammer at it for an here. hour? I don't know how many boxes we've opened up already and bad things have been inside. I don't want to open up a big rock and there'd be something really bad inside. Well, if it's our only way out, though, you know. Yeah. Oh, you probably the other way out. It finishes thing. your spell. And as you open your eyes again, Flint, you look around, and of course, you still see the little mix of magic you've seen in the fog in the past. A little bit of conjuration, a little bit of enchantment. But what's weird to you is on top of the mist, there is a new magic moving around. You can see it moving in tiny waves through the air. Some kind of enchantment magic. As well, okay. you turn your eyes to the boulder, and it is coated with a thick layer of abjuration. Can I also turn around and look at um, <clears throat> Raven? Raven herself doesn't glow. Okay. Neither do her clothes. Uh, well, no, her boots don't glow. Because I, I remember Dragonette has the magic boots, not a... Correct. Raven. She has a roll boots. So I'll let you guys know. It seems like there's well, there's a strong abjuration magic on the rock itself. Um, so that's interesting. And then there's also kind of like an enchantment floating around in the mist periodically. Oh no, it's always there. You can just see it moving. Oh, kind of swirling around then. You that see it's concentrating around every single one of you. This is abjuration magic. Give me an example. Shielding? Shield. Uh, like... Protective spells. Wards. Protection also, um... Barriers. 
planner binding? Like mage armor. Planner like stuff? Protection from good and evil is one so of we, them. It could be. So like the like the gate that was holding that the world eater in, that was abjuration magic. Yeah, so that makes sense. Okay, so this rock it says danger on it has protective magic that's holding something in. I'm yeah. gonna vote I'm gonna vote for not touching the rock. I don't care how that's many That's what I've been saying this whole time. <laughs> the Abjuration School of Magic encompasses protective spells. They create a physical barrier or magical barrier, negate magical or physical abilities, harm trespassers, or even banish the subject of the spell to another plane of existence. Thanks, Bendar. Ooh. Yeah. What if something so, uh, was banished here? Something was banished here, us. I think we need to test to see if there's another way we can get out of the mist. And then worst case scenario, we're going to have to dig into the rock. Yep, that's there's what I've been saying. obviously some kind of enchantment that's keeping us here, though. Exactly. So we can either, yeah, I mean, we can, yeah. you know, keep trying to get out. But if it's going to keep dragging us here, you know we're going to have to figure out what's going on with this phenomenon. I'm gonna go take a walk in the woods real quick. You're going into the woods instead of off the path instead of on the path? Uh, that's dangerous. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's dangerous, but we're just walking in circles. I mean, for example, where do we go from here? Well Um I guess I've been I've... pretty much every direction. It goes this way, that way, over that way. All of them lead back here. You hear from Raven. Yeah, yeah, Raven, we got that. Yeah, that oh, one out. sorry. <laughs> she goes quiet, her eyes turned down to the ground. How long have you been going around in circles, Raven? I don't know. She doesn't look up at you to meet your gaze, and her voice is very small. One day, two days. You remain silent. Is it currently daytime? I mean, it's not as dark as it has been at other points in time. So the, the equivalent, as much as you can say, but you haven't seen day since you got here. Or seen, Does Rose seen have her minions time. with her? Yeah, they're around. I think we should run an experiment with Rose's minions. I think Rose's minions should test if they can walk out. All right. That's that's my results and nods in different directions. Sorry, Rose, but I think the minions are better at risk than if we walk out there. No, no, she's she agreed with you. Send them. And she watches them go. I always thought fogs like these seemed unsafe. I didn't like going out in them if I could avoid it. Um, was she sitting on the stone when we came here? Raven was initially, yeah. You know anything about the stone, Raven? Have you seen anything since you've been here? Um, it's always been really cold to the touch. The stone? Mm-hmm. That's weird. I think a stone would be kind of warm for sitting out in the sun all day. There's no sun. There's no sun. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I mean, it was heavier than normal. It's either got to be some very dense rock, some kind of composite. That has to be, yeah, danger on it. That's It's got to be a plug for something. Well, if it had dwarven symbols on it, and it seems like it's made of metal. It seems like a prison cell, maybe? Well, it could be enchanted. It'll work. Well, it's definitely enchanted. It's covered in abjuration. So. Or you've got a rock that naturally exudes abjuration magic, which would probably be more concerning. 
That <laughs> would be really cool. crazy. If the rock itself is exuding the magic. Actually, yeah, it could. Who was it that uh? It was Flint right. that casted detect magic, right? And I want to pick he up that little piece. Of... Oh, he he wouldn't... wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Oh, between that little piece of rock and the big one. Yeah, well, it also has the same thing. But um, it the difference between it giving off the energy and it being enchanted with it with detect magic, you wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah. It'd be it's both. It's just it's one of that the same. energy. If you spend some time, if you roll Arcana and spend some time looking at it, you might be able to determine something. If you can, like, you'd be like looking for runes and shit, trying to figure out if it was chanted based on something. But it's not a fail-safe method. Okay. There is another Endaro. theory that I have that we could do. We could set the fire, or we could set the forest on fire. Forest mm -hmm. is a distance away from the uh, rock, but you could do that. Yeah. Yeah, and then we could hang out at the rock and be safe. The fire won't spread to us, and we'll let the forest burn down and like, clear the mist. I don't know. Are you suggesting that we just go around burning all the trees in Barovia to the ground? I'm not saying every tree in Barovia. I'm just saying the ones around <laughs> us right here. It might clear up the fog. Or... I don't know. It's just an idea. That will remind Flint, uh, Bendar, and the other. It's not a bad idea. Us. Oh, no, I'm just reminding you of an encounter y'all had of a when y'all ran into a druid that led a bunch of trees uh, to fight y'all in the past. Oh yeah, so maybe yeah, we'll... the trees might not like it if we light them on. Huh? Could you imagine that Barovia would have yeah. druids? They don't really have feelings, do they? <laughs> well, I mean, they did when they stabbed Dragonette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a fun experience. I mean, they might, they might have <laughs> Yeah, they can actually talk, so. All right. Um, if you know here's it. talking trees, you see him putting his torch away. Bendar's just kind of scratching his stubbly beard. Um, that's become a beard now because he hasn't shaved in a while. And he's just looking at the rock and or the symbols, looking for any kind of, oh, I'm sorry, any kind of magical, I don't know, abnormalities. Beyond the detect magic of uh Yeah, Rose is gonna be assisting you as well. A plan. So you're, you're, it's gonna go a little bit quicker. Okay, cool. But what would you yeah, like I'll to be do there ready to translate? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what's that? Is it just the main middle rock that's magical? Or Slint saw. Okay. I'm gonna start to like look at these other small rocks and see if I can like Lift so them up and find a key underneath or something. With everything on this, and because I have stone cutting, can I make a, a history check to see if like maybe there are rocks like this that I might know of? Uh, you can look at the, look for the age, <sighs> but you can try. Nope. So how do I do stone? It says adds double your proficiency. History. So it's just the history plus two. Because your also proficiency modifier should still be two. No. So that'd be a seven. <laughs> Metallic rock. As Rose and Bendar are circling the rock, looking for any sign of hidden sigils, you can see them both waving their hand glowing energy coming for them almost as if they're trying to use it as a torch to bring out illusionary uh, glyphs and the like. Y'all see Bendar, not Bendar, Grimir comes over and he's now patting the rock, letting his hand play over it, getting a feel from it. He presses his ear to it, giving it a good listen, listening to the whispers of the boulder, seeing what mysteries it has to tell him. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. <laughs> and he finds that the boulder will tell him no secret. 
The boulder will not lie to him. The boulder is but a simple boulder. Sit on top of it. We used to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> we were making two different references, and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> My bus, you're able to parse out after fucking around with the rock for a minute. Looks honestly similar to the type of rock you found downstairs in the fortress that made up the walls of the thing down there. Specifically, it looked like the door's materials. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense both work. You remember that big uh, circular door you'll try to get through when you were leaving the farm? It matches that material. Okay. Doesn't necessarily mean the same people made it. Well, maybe it just leads back down there. What if this is a marker for the underground there? Yeah, what if this is just another entrance? Should point I'm out that you're there. several hours away from that entrance. There are There is a lot underground. <laughs> so... well, I'm um, all for releasing it. ancient evils to the world. If I try to push it, does it move? Who's pushing it? Flint. No. <laughs> He's the boulder. He's big as fuck. But Bendar, as you and Rose are looking over, y'all do find at the very bottom, right underneath where it tucks into the ground, you finally find those sets of runes that you were looking for. You're seeing the sign of enchanting. And you've worked with magic for a while, so you're reading it, looking through it. It's not... This is almost... The best word for it is this is a generator. This is the centerpiece to some kind of barrier. Okay. Could be one of those. This rock is holding something here. Perhaps. Again, you know that that wouldn't have you walk back to the rock. That's enchantment. That would cause you to get turned around and end up back here. If this is the kind of barrier you think it is, you'd be able to walk and find the barrier itself. Some distance away. Okay. okay now I'm done. You can go ahead. Yeah. Um... So maybe there's something stuck here and then it's that thing is now keeping us here? Because it's stuck here. Maybe. Yeah, and the skeletons make it back. You actually do see one of them kind of wander in. It's the tallest of the group. Most of them are kobolds, so it's the one Dragonette has dubbed Larry. Larry. He <laughs> kind of trots back up, looking around. He looks back the way he came, then over at Rose. Good work, Larry. Where are the other ones? They'll likely catch up soon. They have shorter legs. <laughs> I don't think Larry turned around, so it looks like he continued on and came back from that direction. Because he came back in a completely different direction than the one he led to. But also, it's not the, from the same direction he left in. Hmm. Very odd. Yeah, I thought it was just Raven that was keeping us here, but... I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I think we're stuck in, in two separate traps. I think we're stuck in one thing, or something's keeping something here. That rock is keeping something here. Whatever it is, is keeping us here. 
So. So, is it maybe like. Mm. Hey, in, oh. Yeah. What? No, 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 it's fine. Hey, Najee, um. Have you, uh. You know, looked with your special sight at, you know, our new. Well, the new edition? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh. He did check when y'all first got there to see if she was anything fucky. Yeah, I couldn't remember, yeah. It's right here on top of the rock now. Thank you. Okay, so it's it's a barrier. Or okay, it's a seal to a barrier, but it it's also seems like I could walk into the barrier from some distance away. If you walk a certain distance away from this, you're guessing... It'll return me half a mile. Okay. Not return you. Based on the barrier, you should walk straight into the barrier and hit it. But we're being enchanted to just come back to the center. Which is not what that rock's doing. Effectively, the the rock is creating a wall that you can walk into and go punch. Something is stopping you. Something else is stopping you from reaching the barrier. It's got to be around here. If we keep getting focused back to the center point, this is where it is. And if it's something that's enchanting us, it's something conscious. At least it has the intent to constantly bring us back here. Something wants us to release it. All right. Oh, I hope it's not a genie. Bendar is gonna. I mean, it did break okay. when you hit it, right? Yeah. Just warning you all now: genies might seem nice on the surface, but they'll get you. You, can, you have experience with a gin? I've I've just written too much about them. Hmm? Paranoid. Jin also would have a vessel somewhere. Maybe it's down there. Huh? <laughs> All I know, right, I'm well, scared of what's under that rock. Um, I'm going to wild shape into a giant badger. Okay. And start digging. Oh, I didn't even Start that. digging under the rock. I'm going I'm to try that oh. subtly. And I would like to examine Raven and to kind of just, I'm just going to, Benar's just going to basically sit. He'll pull out his sword and kind of, I don't know. He's sitting on the ground and kind of Are looking like he's sharpening it, but he's actually trying to read her mind. So. How do you cast sub, sub, sub to lead? Are you have, I don't think you're a sorcerer, are you? Yeah, that's kind of. It might the... be, and I just don't remember. I can't remember what kind of. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm a clockwork yeah, sorcerer. You are a sorcerer. Yeah. I keep yeah. thinking Bendar is a wizard. Yeah, and I just yeah, I just got subtle spell with the fourth level, so that's yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Let me read what this does. What do you actually get? And. S if you probe. Deeper. Nice. Right. Initially, we're in sur so you're looking at surface thoughts, and if you try to get any deeper into their mind, they make a wisdom save. Yeah. Seeds. Either way, the target. Either way, the target knows that you're probing into his mind, unless you slip to the creature can use this action to get touched. Check for sure. So it's if you force your way in. Yeah, if I force my way in, they have to, it's a conte uh, contested check if I go deeper, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you go that, deeper, sounds, they can that sounds terrible. And then they immediately know <laughs> you're doing it. Because they will immediately know specifically that is you and what's going on. Because you're, as you're trying to force your way into their innermost um, thoughts, that they will pick up on. Gotcha. And they can start to fight you. 
Oh, but you can detect if there's other creatures? Uh, yeah, I up to 30 feet, right? You won't... You can only focus on creatures that you know are there. Because you have to focus on them. So if you don't know the so creatures... You can use the spell to detect the presence of thinking creatures you can't see. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because I remember th that's that the cool thing about detect. Spell. Yeah, I know. Right? It's like a lawyer fest. Uh, uh, yeah, I do remember it being very useful for like, yeah, doing just that is like detecting hidden mind mind creatures. Yeah. Mm. Alrighty, cool. Yeah. That's more yeah, of a general sense. But you do start looking into Raven's mind. And she's sitting there. Her The most surface thought you're getting is she really likes the feel of the boots underneath her. <laughs> They're not as... Uh, they don't cut as much as the rocks do. <laughs> nice. She's never worn shoes like this. And the only ones she's really worn are those... Angry pointy ones that make her feet hurt. But Robin hasn't made her warm, wear those in a while, so she doesn't have to worry. You see she's idly digging the toe of the boot into the uh, ground a little bit. Just enjoying the feeling of the soft leather around her. Do you continue to listen? Um, I mean, I'll just listen for the full minute, just on surface level. I don't, I don't think I want to probe any deeper since I, I just don't. Yeah, there's nothing there, nothing malicious. Listening and listening, she's mostly just enjoying the comforts that y'all have given her. And she feels a little safer with y'all. But there is something underneath it that you more sense than anything else. Something moving under her thoughts. Okay. With more detail. I mean, something like that. Where I'm like... It, you know, sounds okay. maybe sketchy. Then I will... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Somebody just got eaten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody just died. Flint. Yeah, Flint just died. Oh, God, yeah. Flint. Yay. Flint. Is he digging? Maybe come back. <laughs> digging that hole. Okay, so yeah. Go ahead, what were you doing? Okay, so then, yeah, I'll try to... Since I, I'm just kind of listening and I see something a little off, I'm like, I'll go ahead and take the risk. And I'm going to, you know dig in deeper into her consciousness. As you dig in, you see her entire body shudder, and you feel a spike of fear. And then what worries you is you immediately see a trained instinct to submit, and she immediately lets go. You can almost hear a voice in her ear coaxing her. Let them do it. It's your place. That's the kind of thing that's going on. And you immediately start feeling the just general fear she's usually in. And she seems very comfortable with that fear as if it's something she's always lived with. You can see the, not the full image, but the shadow of a figure that seems to be, seems to be towering over her. That she seems to label as this Robin figure. As the one that leads her. She's attached to it, she worries it, she loves it, but it brings pain. It's what protects her. But there's a small part of her mind that knows that this is what has caused all the pains of her life. But on the other hand, the bigger part of her body, the bigger part of her mind, 
labels this as the only thing that is good for her. The only thing that she can have. Her sibling. Her brother. If she loses this, she has nothing. She'll be worth nothing. And around that, you find marks of arcane tampering, damage to the mind, locks keeping parts of her memory locked away. But what's more worrying to you is the thing that was moving underneath this all. There's a song, a lullaby, drifting through her mind and pacifying her. Something wholly not hers, but here all the same. And the lullaby has no distinct words. It's, it's more of a tonal, emotional kind yes. of... Okay. All right. As you're listening to it, however, let me go look at something real quick. You actually do hear a few words from time to time. They're soft, quiet, and more about the tone than any true language than anything else. But you do hear that it is a language in there. Words that you don't recognize. A language that you don't speak. It's about at that time the spell finally slips as it ends your minute. The rest of the party, what y'all see, is Bendar sitting there fucking around cleaning his stuff. And he kind of glances over his gaze a little bit harder at um, Raven and her entire body start to quake. She straightens up, not making herself look small, but looking like somebody that is waiting for a punishment. Her eyes are down, her arms crossed in front of her, her legs together, as she just seems to weight her entire body just with these tiny quakes. Bendar, like, Bendar basically, after experience, like, closes his eyes and basically tries to remain calm because obviously he'd be a little emotional having gone, basically experienced all that kind of through her mind and her sensations. And then, uh, then he opens them again. And then he looks at Raven and he says, You've been tampered with. Not just from your brother, not just from society. There's something else there, something arcane in nature. So maybe that's something we can work on, we can fix with time. Her gaze doesn't rise to yours. Her eyes stay pointed directly at the toes of her, of her feet. She doesn't look up. She doesn't respond. You see the shivering is getting worse. And she just stares. The best description I can give of what she looks like is she looks like a beaten dog who got kicked one too many times that just took one blow and is now waiting for the second one to fall. There's no fight in her at all. Dragonette, aren't you good? With, or where's is Missy with us? Like she can. She's yeah. there, but we can't. Yeah, we can't. Her. Gotcha. Okay. How about she's doing her own thing at the moment? Gotcha. Okay. Aren't you good at comforting people? I'm not. Hey, are you talking to Dragonette? Yes. Yes. Yeah. No. No. And no. 
<laughs> well, you I'm had that you girl talk with Rose. I figured you were good at handling. That, that wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't comfort. Supposed to remind you for what you saw of that. That was a lot of threatening. <laughs> that did end with her putting a dagger to her neck. Oh wow! I don't remember this. What the hell, Dragonette? You, you weren't technically there. Dragonette putting the uh, knife to Dragonette. Dragonette didn't put the knife to her neck. Rose took Dragonette's knife and put it to her neck. That's that. Dragonette's not good at comforting people. She tries, though. Well, I mean, you're the one who read her mind. I mean, that's... You would not know that. No. He subtly did it. Granted, he did say he, something had been done to her mind. Not entirely sure what's there. So. Yeah, he goes over and basically just pats her on the shoulder and says, it's okay. We're here to help. We'll fix whatever... Her body immediately flinches at your touch. Okay. And then tries to shrink away. And then I back off, obviously. We can help. Just... You went through a lot, and there's something that someone's put some mental blocks in your mind. It's distorted your memories, and there's just there's a lot to fix there. But it's going to take time, and you're going to have to eventually learn to trust us. Her eyes remain on the ground. But for now, we rest. We won't, we won't work on it today. Just whenever you're ready, just know that we can help. And then he backs away. Good work, Mendar. Good work. You see Rose and the Fox are now attempting to softly get her out of this state. They're not having much luck, though. What is the rest of the party doing now that they've seen that? Was I able to, like, dig underneath this rock at all? Oh, yeah, there is a... Flint is a fucking badger somewhere, too, with all of this. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Right? Like, cheering on Flint. Yes. <laughs> But Flint, yeah, you get under it. There's nothing under it. What? I can, like, pop up on the other side. Like... Just dirt. Okay. I'll, like, shake like a dog shakes. And... Mm -hmm. I don't know. You come up to a Bendar looking a little awkward. Ravens. As I said, just staring at the ground with Rose and Fox attempting to coerce her out of this weird state she's in. There's definitely an oddity in the air now that you're back up. You definitely missed something while you were digging being a badger. Well, if it's not under it, what the frick is this tunnel? Cave? Who knows? Do you remain in your badger form or go back to a uh... Yeah, I get two hours. I'm just going to chill like this for now. Budger. You can't speak, though, so we got that, unfortunately. Yeah, if I'm like, really need to say something, I'll switch back. But... Okay, so there's nothing under the rock. Uh, I'm not going to get any useful information from Raven. He's damaged. Justifiably so. We keep going in circles. If we leave here, we're just going to end up back here. So we have to figure out something with this rock, right? I'm ready to start swinging. I was say, can, you un can it be unlocked? Can we unlock this thing? What, what does it do? 
Or that's, yeah, somehow maybe disenchant the barrier, but that's not going to stop us from coming back here. Hmm. I'll go there. Start swinging. It's the only option I see for now. You got the godly hammer over there. Just keep throwing at it a million times. What happens if we bring the barrier? Well, I have no way of dispelling whatever, well, it's not even that. It's whatever is sealed in there is keeping us out. So it's like, see what I'm saying? So we're, we're kind of in a chicken and egg situation. Like, we can't leave until we take out the source. Or reason with it, or... Just taking out the rock, do you think taking out the rock will fully even take out the barrier? I know it's the source of it. No clue. If you break the... If you manage to stop it from creating the uh, barrier, the barrier will fall. But yet again, the barrier is not what's keeping you inside. Yes. Yeah, it's it's the... Well, whatever yeah, sealed away is them. probably keeping us... Yeah. There was more to it, so you can continue to read into the uh, barrier to see if you can learn more about it. Okay. I guess, Rose, you're actually... I'll, I'll assist you. She's a little busy. Oh, okay. Kurt, she's trying to All right. calm Raven at the moment. Sure. I will do an Arcana check. Bendar, you start to look through it again, focusing more on the specifics of the barrier this time then looking for the existence of what was causing it. A different kind of look. So you're looking specifically at the ruins at the base of the thing. Then you start digging a little bit to see a little more under it. To see the curve. To see more and more of these runes. And you see interestingly enough this barrier is focused on a single type of being. It is focused on a type of fae. All right. So Sounds it is like only so, capturing fae, keeping them hidden inside. So um, it stop any of you. It's perhaps a magic circle against good and evil like uh, and, and it could um, it, if you pick a specific type of creature in this case fey then you can trap them within it very useful for planner binding I've heard think I think the stone itself may just be the the generator but what's what's attracting us back to this spot then nothing the stone probably what this stone is protecting or keeping us from getting to see what I'm saying yeah but the fact that it hasn't even came to speak with us or yeah. If it is like, alive at all. I didn't detect any thoughts beyond. Or maybe the barrier blocks that. I don't know. Your um, detect magic only goes out about 30 feet. Oh, okay. The so. barrier of the block's about half a mile. Like if something's standing on the edge of the forest. Watching y'all from the trees, you wouldn't catch it. You wouldn't necessarily catch it with your detect thoughts. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, and not saying it all like, 
loud and like obnoxiously and holding my hammer. We could break the rock. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, at it's this the point, rock, try, try it. Yeah, <laughs> try it. Get to the center of the rock. To I was off. trying to like attract something's attention, you know, <laughs> if something else was interested. But all right, yeah, going for another heavy swing. Work on it. Our rock I fucking uh, miss your shot again. <laughs> Dinging off the side, chuck taking off another chunk. Tiny jump. Little pebble. Can't throw two weapons. Do you require oh, yeah, can I throw, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it at it. I'm gonna go for the another attack. Going for one more. One you hit solidly, and you feel you f you feel your hands ringing like you just hit a gong. The vibrations of hitting that thing hurts, and you get a solid blow, and you see cracks appear on it, but it doesn't make it all the way through. And that's when you, with your stone cunning, notice something interesting. The chips you have put taken off are starting to recorporate themselves. Oh dang. What do you mean they're recorporating themselves? Like for example, I'm holding I'm holding a chunk of that rock that he gave me when he chipped it off the first time. Is it still in my hands or is it Yeah, it's like... regrowing a new one. Oh it, it the rock itself is regenerating. Yep. I don't think rocks are supposed to do that. And none of us can dispel magic, fortunately. But I think that would really help in this situation. It just I think this is a magic circle spell. Or something like they that. Not just cut off part of the circle or mess with it at all to break the effects. Yeah, I make... actually, I'm going to go up to the base of it again, and I'm going to swing at the, the circle of runes at the base of the rock. Try and hit the... where the writing is at the bottom. Oh, right. Roll me an attack. Try and disrupt the circle. If we can't dispel it, try and break it. That might actually work. I didn't even think about that. You strike in again, another crack appearing. And you see the entire rock shiver. At least the part that's detaching itself from that little plate that's on the bottom. That has the runic writing on it. You'll see an issue. That rock's standing up. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hello there. It's fucking big. Lovely. As it pulls itself from the ground, it looks, and now that you can see it as it's standing up, you see it was sitting in a large bowl. I need everybody to roll me some initiative. <laughs> Uh, I knew it was going to stand up eventually. <laughs> right. Does this work? Does this count my sentinel shield? And... I don't think so. Rose, you currently only have Larry. So let's see. Add code and character sheet. Rose is going to roll initiative. There you go. You're going to open yours. Roll initiative. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 do. All right. Oh, need to roll you. Okay, should do. He is slow. Oh. Fucking Badger dead. boy, what you gonna do? Um, I see it stand up. Oh yeah, it's getting up. It looks a little pissed off. I will run and try to bite his feet. You managed to bite into it. I think, yeah, you managed to bite into it. Uh, and then I also, I multi-attack, so I have to do claw. Alrighty, also hits with that. Alrighty. As your teeth kind of grind against this tough, metal-like structure, you do not like the way it tastes. At all. Cool. Um, and I'll, I'll stay here. Alrighty. That brings us next to Bendar. What would you like to do, Bendar? As you see this big angry thing. Oh, forgot to roll somebody's initiative. Whoops. I don't sus suspect this is the fey creature, right? No. Okay. All this right. This is an elemental. That's what I figured. Okay. It's very obviously an elemental, so. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Um, I will... Uh, elemental, I think it's a century. Elemental, elemental planner. Oh, uh, bu 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 bu. one second. Are you done? Oh, you know what? HP I'm gonna go ahead and bonus action hex this mofo, and then okay. um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cast uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter. And then... Alrighty. Back away, like, 1, 10, 20... I don't know, like right here-ish. Right next to Dragonette. Oh, in the hex is string. Gotcha. Hang on. Whose sheet are you attaching yourself to? Yeah, that's who I need. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So you did hex for strength, yes? Yes. And then you toshed. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Wisdom saves. Cool. Why is it be? As you see, it falls back down for a moment. This grinding sound coming from its lips. That ends my turn. I was wondering how I was wondering how a bag of rocks would laugh. Dragonette, what you up to? Uh okay, so the rock is on the ground now? Yeah, it's fallen back into the uh, bowl it was standing in. Okay, she's going to um, hold her action, and she'll be doing steady aim. Oh, can she do that? Can she do steady aim as a as a held action or not? Is the held action just the action itself? Just the bow shot. I'm gonna wait for the rock to stand up. I'm fine. Then with that. shoot. Yeah. 
Okay. So yeah, she's gonna hold action, wait for the rock to stand up, and then she'll take a steady aim bow shot. Okay. That's that's it. Naji, what you up to? Oh no, I'm forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Five pass road, it's in Raven. Take a swing at this creature. Already? One hand. Fucking Let's laying crit. into it. Ah, you know, when you crit, you crit. So I got, I'm sending a, a charge of smite. Nice. Let's see. Do that one. And then smit. Uh, that one's so charge, or do I need two? That's 2d8. 2d8. Yep. That's all good there. there. Alright. So that is going to deal. There are six. Let me look at something real quick. Da, 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 da. You said you use Divine Smite, yeah? Yep. Thirty-two altogether. Nice. That's what I thought. Do, 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 do. So it was 15 plus 17 for 32 damage. God damn, Najee. That's right. Nice. As you put a powerful blow, and you see as you're bringing it down on its back, you had advantage on that attack anyway, it bings off to the side, taking a chunk at it, but not getting near as deep as you were hoping. Mm -hmm. All good, all good. And then I'll swing back. And, and it stops laughing. Tell oh, Raven, I recommend you back up. I'm going to shove her away from the rock. Oh, she, she just goes flying. Like I said, don't take this the wrong way. It's protecting you. Alrighty. Is that it for Naji? Yes. I may have its attention now. Grenier, what will you do? Yes, yeah, spiritual whip. What kind of spiritual weapon are you going to cast? <laughs> the uh, mall. This a hammer. Um, what templates? I just need to give you the access to this. Now that I think about it. <clears throat> Then I will move 25 feet here in between your body. Here's your hammer. While I am thinking on it, I'm going to go into the summons, add the character. Spiritual weapon. Put your hammer in there. I'm going to cast Bless at second. Alrighty, we're gonna give this to Premier. Premier, Dave, what are we? Premier, there you go. Now you can put your hammer wherever the hell you want. Oh. So you can hit four. What isn't it already a second level spell? <laughs> so yes. you hit three. Okay. Alrighty. So who are you targeting? Uh, Bendar, dragging it myself. Ready? Is that what I usually put to that? Yeah, it is. Dragging it. Make sure you said dragging it and Bendar. Yes, dragging it, Bendar, myself, and because I casted it at second level, so it's yeah, four it's... people. It's normally a second level spell, so it does three. You'd have to do it as a third level to get more. 
Bless? This is a first level. Oh, it was, just, it was weird that it was saying say that way. What am I thinking? It, 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 it had enchantment okay. too, yeah. Oh, but yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, because I... You upcast it, is, it, yeah. Is yeah. the second level. Yeah. You confused me, my bad. Um, yep, near mm-hmm. range. Here we go. And that will end my turn. Alrighty, cool, yeah. That brings us to Raven. Who's going to do as she's told and scurry over here? That brings us to Larry. Who has a bow? He's going to go blam. He's going to miss. Well, I mean, he can't, but Rose is then also going to back off. And then Rose is going to ca- attempt to cast Mind Sliver, see if it can do anything. Hoppa! Close that. Close that. Close that. Open that. Spiritual weapon. I some something. There's also the wrong Mind Sliver, apparently, because they broke again. Rose did... Fucking your spells copied themselves again. Oh, where's Rose's cobalt? They haven't gotten back yet. Oh, yeah, only Larry. Might also do that all the time on my character sheet. Yeah, um, give me just a second while I figure out what's multiplied itself. Do you have two flaming spears? Yes, you do. Two ray of sicknesses? Yes. Two chill shots? You triple cast at these? Good god. There we go. We'll cast that that way. There we go. That's better. So it does seven damage. Yay. But that's her. She's going to then order Larry to attack. He's going to miss. That brings us to this fucking thing. He stands up, which triggers Dragonette's shot. Ish. Uh, 16. Oh, wait. Right. I got that. 17. 17. All righty. It hits and it sinks in just a little. Okay. Do I even roll? For, do I even roll for damage? Yes, you will still roll. Okay. For got it. Uh, whoa. And there's somebody adjacent. I'll get that. And you also just favorite. had advantage, so you sneak uh, attack. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. favorite foe. Oh. There you go. 18, 19. How do you have favorite foe on it? Because I am a Rogue 3 Ranger 1. Don't you have to bonus action hit Don't? them with favorite foe? I Because I believe it's effectively Hunter's Mark. I think it's when you hit, you can select. I will I will check right now while you do your thing. Yeah. I just don't remember. That's why I'm asking. Yep. So that's 17 or 19. Just go ahead and roll it. <laughs> okay. When you hit a creature, you can call. Okay, so you can bind it whenever you hit. Okay, cool. So it has been back. Ranger. Oh. Nice. It's like upgraded favor damage. Yep. So, so that's right. Anything else? Alrighty. That brings us to its turn. It's got two people. One's going for Najee, one's going for the giant uh, badger. First one's going for Najee. That is going to be a 24 to hit on Najee. You'll hit. Second one's going to go for the badger, who has a 19 to hit. It's going to hit, because you only have an AC 10. Najee, you are going to take 14 bludgeoning damage. 
Well, the badger is going to take 12. Oh, nice. As he takes both fists and slams it down on top of y'all. The badger is bloodied. Alrighty. That brings us to our good Happy Fox, whose first reaction is going to be to... They're going to move over here. They're going to cast Cure Wounds on the Badger. Four. It's going to be two plus six, so eight. So you're no longer bloodied, Badger Boy. Wow. The fox is going to get a little out of the way. Because this thing's got big fists. Badger, what you doing? Uh, seeing as I was healed, I'm just going to go ahead and bite him. Om nom 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 nom. You are going to miss. And then the clocks, I multi attack. Yep, they are just going to bounce off the side as it manages to get its arm down in the way of any blows, and you just kind of scratch at the hard stone. Anything All right, else? then I will stand next to Najee because he sometimes helps me. <laughs> and sir. Yes. All righty. Bendar. All right. Um, Bendar will cast Eldridge Brast. Um and he'll burn a sorcery blast. Brash? Brass. It's, it's it's B R R and then yeah, blast. It's funny. B R A S S. Oh, yeah. blast. Okay. Let's yeah. Go burn. I was just like, <laughs> what is Eldritch Blast? Are you just summoning a giant <laughs> mecha golem or something? <laughs> so oh, yeah. yeah, I'll do that, and then um, I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast basically twice because I'm quickening it. So once. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the giant snake. Um, that's the first, and then... Okay, nice. Okay. And I'll do that, and that, and that, and that. So... 15, 19, 21 damage. Oh, oh those are that back. Okay. I see what's going on. Alrighty, so that is... I just, 15 plus 6, yeah, it's 21. Machine gun him with the Eldritch Brass. Eldritch Brass into hell. He's still standing tall. And that's it. I'm done. Alrighty. That brings us to Dragonette. Dragonette, what would you like to do? Uh, she's going to repeat what she did before. She's going to uh, attack, steady aim, and shoot with her longbow again. Alrighty. You're going to hit. I was going to say, I don't even need a, the bless right now. Okay, do me some damage. Damage. No, I'm at not a 20 this time. 20. Yep. Did you see once again, the arrow has trouble finding proper purchase in the uh, elemental itself. Yeah, limitations of being a piercing only attack is I gotta take, I gotta roll with the punches. That's what balls and force are good. You? That's well, it. That is that anything for her? Brings us back to Najee. Najee got squished. Indeed. Lord didn't confront the rock slide. Hmm. <sighs> Does it make more sense to switch to a less accurate budgeting weapon? I don't know. Try to make an Arcana roll? Sure. Arcana. I'm sorry. Oh, nice, Naji. Naji, you've run into a couple elementals in your past, specifically ones like this. It does not matter what you hit it with. Add. You're, the resistance you're looking at uh. isn't bludgeoning, it's magic 
Ah. So your best bet is to steal Grimir's hammer and go beat it up. What? You're telling me my plus one longsword isn't magical? Whatever. Oh, you're using plus one magical? I don't know. It's Are you? One. You tell That's me. That's why I'm asking. I don't remember what weapons y'all have. I have a plus I mean. one longsword. Yes. I don't yes, know. Yes, that is magic. magic. Okay. Just plus one is magic. Oh, cool. I have magic. I'll roll around, roll over my badger friend to the other side and stab this guy in the foot. I need to go. Uh, hang on. You are using... Four for bless. You? Plus one. Okay, cool, yeah. I do not... Oh, 50. Sorry. <laughs> You are going to miss, unfortunately. Dang it. Yeah, you definitely want a magic weapon to deal with stuff like this. Did you smite with that last time? Last time, yeah. Okay, yeah, I missed that. Hang on. Uh, you did 32, right? Yep. I that's what it was. Two. Divided by two. There you go. So yeah, she did you have a damage earlier, so I have to give it. Well, that's fine. But you are going to uh, miss it. It's fine. My friends deal enough damage now. <laughs> no, no, I just added the damage on. Just, uh, just a quick question. If a creature is this large, do I am I still able to go diagonally around yeah. him? You can go diagonally, as long as you're not trying to go through a square. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Is it Bambi? It's Bambi. Yes, I'm watching. Anything else from Naji? Uh, sure, I'll try to knock him prone. Alrighty. Um, boom. Maybe it's oh. disadvantage. It, well, it hexes disadvantage on saves or checks? What was it? It's checks. Yeah, it's not okay, so safe. I would have disadvantage on strength based checks. Okay. I rolled a one, so we'll see if we can. <laughs> I don't think one's effect skill check. That's a 17. Yeah, he's fine. As you slam your uh, shield try. into him, you see the hex try to slow him down, but he still holds true. Ooh. Sorry, he has a rock, they say. That's my turn. That's a good Pretty combo, though. Hide behind this tree. Larry the Skeleton, he's here. He's got a bow. He's going flop. He's going to hit. Oh, you skipped me. some damage. Did I? Yes. Oh, my bad, Grimmier. Oh, like, but Larry's back. <laughs> Get Larry's him, Grimmier. Get him, Grimmier. Hey, yeah. Grimmier's up flanking now. Fuck the wolf. Going for a dick. A dick? You can hit him yeah. in the dick? Yeah, hit him in the dick. <laughs> Grab his dick and twist it. It's... Yeah. <laughs> it's a rock creature. What do you mean? You are going to unfortunately miss. Is bless calculated into that? Oh, yeah, you, it's not automatically. So yeah, roll bless. That four. So that's going to be an 18, which does hit. Nice. Because that brings it up to a 20. Two plus yeah, yeah, so it's 20. So yeah, it hits. I need to go to your sheet and just add Bless. Give me a second. Because <laughs> I'm going to keep forgetting. Do, 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 do. I think it might be on there. I think I just may not have it on. Mm, nope. Cool. Tech modifier. Save modifier. Core. Bless. Bless. There you go. It's on now. So anything else from you as you swing and hit? I'm going to deal so, 11 damage. And then going to attack with a spiritual one. Nice. Very nice. Going to hit with that. I don't think spiritual weapon gets your blessed though. No. That's, yeah, that's one thing that's... It might. I don't know. I'd have to look into it. I, I, I remember some of the vaguely. Either way, it's going to hit. Where I roll damage. 
You effectively there roll the spell again. Nine force. Okay, what does apply to your spiritual weapon? That's cool. Because it is your attack roll. So. That's really cool, because it kind of gives me a secondary attack as a cleric. Yep. yep. Just takes a second level spell slot. Oh, am I turning? So if for Grimir, cool. Raven is still behind the rock. Larry's already shot, which brings us to Rose. It also had a minus two on that shove, but it didn't stop anything. So she is going to... Mine's going to be the motherfucker. That is a zero. Alrighty. Elemental. It has three motherfuckers to try to hit. It still doesn't like Naji and the Badger. Okay. Badger, 24. Naji, 15. So it's going to miss Naji. But it is going to hit our Badger for 14 damage, which does knock you out of your Badger form. I'll intercept. Oh, I say that's six damage. So six you're damage. not knocked out of your thing. Just grab the badger by the back of the scruff and pull him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I could just imagine that too, just like picking him up and like turning and just taking the blow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, when Naji picks me back up, I'll use <clears throat> my telekinetic reprisal for my feet. So he's going to make a DC 15 strength save or take 7 damage. Oh. Not Najee, the big guy. I'd imagine. Make strength saving throw on a failed save to take 2d10 and is pushed 10 feet away on a successful save. Takes half damage and push. Uh, cool. Push 10 feet away? I'm behind it. Yep, so it's going to fall right onto you. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> if it fails. Well, I'm a badger, so. Uh, that's a 10, so yeah. So, boom! Yet. So it is going to take seven force. Uh, so what is the damage? Uh, fuck, you can't even dodge roll out of that. No. Uh, roll me a dex save anyway. Dangerous, though. Oh, no. Okay, so Grimmie release manages to do that. Um... What would this amount of stone feel like when it falls on you? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 that. Just want to try and roll in between his legs. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to take eight damage as that thing falls on you. Where's Grimir? There he is. He's going to go over there, and you're going to manage to get up from behind, underneath him after a second. This is going to take two of your movement for later, but... Yeah. It's not going to keep you squished. However, that is damage, which means you need to do con save. Do you have advantage on con saves? Yes. Okay, then you're fine. It's Warcaster, I'd imagine. Yep, yep. Cool. I think Warcaster and Brazilian. Fox is going to come over here. I didn't realize it pushed it back, my bad. Yeah. Where are your spell slots? What the hell? No, it's just Warcaster. Okay, there we go. Fixed it. They're going to come up here. They're going to fucking cure wound you again. So take... Nine... Plus three, so twelve. So you're back to full health. Hmm. 
And on. that's what's, it, what it's up to. Right. That brings us to the Badger. What's our Badger up to? Um, I feel kind of bad that I pushed this <laughs> rocket, uh, but I'm going to run up and feeling empowered from the heel. I'm going to go bite him again. Fire. Uh, different. Eat. What? You want me to, to do this? You're gonna you want hit. me to do this? Oh, you're going to hit both times. What do you want? Oh, crazy. So this is going to be 17 damage. So yeah, bite and slash, and I'll just stay here. Alrighty. It is looking pretty beat up, but it's still trying. That's going to bring us to Bendar. Bendar, what are you going to do? Alright. Um, he'll quickly step over here 30 feet, and then throw the Staff of Python uh, 10 feet over, so somewhere around here. Uh. And he'll just order it to kill the um, elemental as it sees fit. And then he will burn another sorcery point, the last one, on quickening an Eldritch Blast as a bonus action. Is it a bonus action to order the snake? Or is it oh, it's, a, it's an action to, to bring it up. Summon. It's a bonus action to recall it. If I remember right. Yeah, you're right on that. It's just whether... Oh, come on. Because a lot of those commands take a bonus action as well. On your turn, you can mentally... Yeah, the no, you're fine. Okay, yeah. Cool. yeah. Okay, cool. And then I'll go ahead and cast Eldritch Blast. But it's going to miss. Um, let's do... Okay. I'm blessed. Yeah, blessed, so let's... Though. I'll roll it. People. Seventeen. That is gonna hit. Okay. That bless coming in handy. I know, right? And now you actually have bless on your sheet, so. And that. So it's ten damage. Gotcha. Good job. And I'm done. It's starting to look pretty beat. Cool. That gives us to the snake's turn. Snake's going to come over here. Because it has its initiative above y'all. And it is going to try to grab these motherfuckers. This entire motherfucker. It is unfortunately going to miss, though. Doesn't have multi-attack either. So. That's how it goes. Dragonette, what you doing back there? Uh, steady course. So I'm going to take steady aim and uh, fire a longbow shot again. Before you do, give me just a second. Shoot him. Boop, boop. Core. Bless. Bless. There you go. Now you can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, just I put it so it automatically rolls bless. Oh, got it. Thank you. That's going to fucking hit. Okay, yeah. Um... Longbow damage. Yes. There's still people next to it, so I get this. You still have advantage. Yeah. And then... Uh, so that's what is that? 15, 18? Yep. 18. 18. You fucking ding off it again. You're doing damage. You're doing damage damage. For a little bit. That's it. For her. Alrighty. Najee, you got a stick. It's on the other side of a bowl. What? <laughs> yeah, the bowl that it was sitting in is still there. It's fucking right. fell out of it. And on Grimir. <laughs> Poor man. Um, is this thing still prone? No, it, it never actually went prone. Okay. It I'll just fell back, kind of went down to a knee, cut, crushed Grimir with its uh, ass, and then got back up. All right. I will... Just kind of run down. down. He's thick. 
Run down the slope, run up with the same momentum, and jump up and stab this guy. Get him! Get him in the face! He's a bit too tall for that, I think. Woo! There. You're gonna hit. You're gonna do some damage. This guy's looking chunked. He's missing like half his arm, his knees are gone. His face is looking like, oh, boo. And then I'll try to knock him prone again. Alrighty. He still has disadvantage. Don't knock him on me again. Ah. He's going to save against you. Actually, actually, no, he matches. So that is going to go prone. No, I think I think he saves. No, he doesn't. Really? It goes to attacker, which you would be the attacker in this case. So he does fail. Because mm-hmm. he also got a 14. Aim for the face. Become more a, than amazing. You effectively use your momentum going and you fucking clock him in the face as he's coming down to bash down at the badger and you fucking knock him over and he stumbles back, trips on the side of the uh, bowl and goes crashing to the ground. Grimir. He also has a minus. Oh, that's against saves, so it doesn't actually matter. All motivated from seeing this elemental get toppled. Gonna for another swing. Because he's prone, it's advantage, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. You are going to miss. Did that roll bless on it? Yep, that's the plus one. Oh. No. So you bring in that swing and you just kind of hit it, the hammer having issues catching hold on the uh, toughness of the rock. And it just kind of absorbs the blow. For the bonus action, I'm attacking with the Actually, hammer. Actually, no, that is a hit because you have flanking. That's a oh. 17. Oh. So Ha-ha. you do, do damage. My bad. So that is going to be 14 damage. It is looking chunked. Get it. Moving the mace and bonus action and attacking with it. Yep. Uh... Oh. (laughs) Spiritual face landed a crit. Let's go. You missed. (laughs) I'm kidding. Keep doing some damage. Kill it. Roll me another D8. So that is 8 plus 6. That is 14 damage. The fucking hammer comes down. You crack it in the face, making a large crack in the center of it. Your uh, spiritual weapon comes in again and slams into the chest and just breaks open the chest, causing the thing to fall to pieces on the ground in front of you. It has died. Oh. See the mace do a little twirl. (laughs) Nice. So what fey abomination have we unleashed upon the world? As it falls, y'all hear the softest of chuckles coming from the woods. From everything else that we have to deal with, I don't think that, if anything, I don't think we've made an enemy today. <laughs> Can I hear what and... direction they're coming from? Roll me perception. I think Badger has good perception. They do... They like double senses and whatnot, but I don't know if they have good perception. Uh, yeah, I have keen smell, so it relies on smell, not hearing. Yeah. Uh, how do I do that as a badger? Just roll it normally and then just add your the bonus. Being a badger. So I guess because it's wisdom, do I use a like my PC roll? Or do I use yeah. badger wisdom? Two beers. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yep. You do see something. Does anybody else want to roll perception? Track this motherfucker. Yeah. Don't have advantage. I'm also going to burn a first level sorcery slot to get, regain two sorcery points. But yeah, I'll go ahead and roll perception. Gotcha. No, do you seize it? Endar does not. Rose is on the other side along with the others, so they can't actually roll. But Flint, Dragonette, and Naji, y'all all follow the sound of the small chuckle to see something standing in the woods. Watching the events. You see what looks like a nude woman standing next to the tree with long fingernails that look like the length of a short swords. Coming from each nail, her hand is currently pressed against one of the tree. She has a massive horn coming out of the front of her head. Forehead. I'll, like, just run over to here. You see the smile as she turns her back and moves into the woods itself. I'm going to call out in Sylvan, asking her to wait. You hear the voice respond in a language I don't think you speak. Let me see. Dragonette, what languages do you speak? Not the one I'm looking for, so yep, nope, you have no idea what it's saying. Is it... You can more feel it in the wind than anything else. As it's moving away. It's not infernal, is it? It is not. Okay. Bendar, you don't actually hear it, though. Oh, right. Because right. you did not see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Flint, what will you do? Naji, what will you do? So oh, I don't have any of the languages, right? <laughs> no, I don't. Dang, so what the heck? Naji, what languages do you know? Celestial, Elvish, Infernal? Yes, none of those. Let me go look at everybody's languages real quick. Let's see if they have the language they're looking for. Um, and if I say walking away, I'm going to walk like the same pace, so I'm keeping some distance between us, but not losing eyesight. Give me just a moment. I'll, yeah, when you after you're done that, I'm going to ask Fox to see whether Fox knows what that is. She does not. I know what language she speaks. <laughs> she does not know that language. I'm just going to climb up on the snake and ride it. I'm going to run for him. Tell the others, we found the fae, I think. This E picked up a language last level up. I don't know whether the one that she picked up is one that she could use. She did not, it's not the one we're looking for. Yeah. What is it? Nobody has it. I just looked through everybody's stuff. Ah, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. what, what language do we not have other than... We, we okay. didn't have Sylvan before, and I picked that up, so... True. We also didn't know, have Abyssal, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Missy has Abyssal. Oh. That's horrifying in its own way. Um... But yes, you can see her moving along, her hips shimmying from side to well, shimmying, shashaying is the word I'm looking for. Will you continue to follow her? Yes, because uh, if we stay here, then we're lost. Yeah. Let's follow. Yeah. I'm calling for, for everybody, for Rose and Raven, Larry, let's follow her. I'm chasing more questionable women, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I need wisdom saving throws from everybody. Are we still blessed? I hope so. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> of course it's fucking Flint that makes it. Fucking hell. <laughs> Why is it everybody? The... <laughs> everybody failed. Oh, everybody but Flint. <laughs> and I'm a badger still. He is a badger. <laughs> So I don't know if I just keep can I can I cast silvery barbs as a reaction? No. <laughs> Give me a moment. That's fucking ridiculous. See, I see that everybody else has the plus one or whatever, but I don't see that I have bless on. Because I, I might not have given. It. I don't. I said it to a lot of people. I didn't set it for everybody. I don't think. Yeah, no. I know you went into mine and said it, but. It's like didn't show up on. Them. I'll have to go look it here in a second. Alrighty, let's see. What I want is this. Ba 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 ba. Here we go. She is walk walking deeper into the forest, by the way, Flynn. Go back here. Okay. Go here. Grab you two. Copy. As you follow her deeper and deeper. Heist. Actually, that is not the size I need. This is the one I need. Give me that. Because I didn't expect you to run into the woods like a fucking derp. <laughs> I will at some point turn around and see if my friends are still with me. They are not. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, I was following everyone. I don't know. Going up. We all failed the oh, wisdom. Oh, oh the gotcha. Wisdom we all had to gotcha, gotcha. A rock. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Flip, you managed to continue along your way. Oh, I need to pull you all to the right map now. <laughs> Only ladies man Flint here. So tricky. <laughs> you can see her moving along in the woods ahead of you. What will you do? She might have a thing for badgers. Uh... I mean, I guess I gotta keep following. You gonna sprint to try to keep up? Yeah, I wanna try and keep line of sight if possible, yeah. You're having trouble keeping an eye on her in the woods. She's moving deeper and deeper. Further away from the party. It's at that point, Flint, as you're walking, you're realizing what you're something that's under the noise of everything that's been going on. There's a soft song moving through the woods. Interesting. You feel it trying to tug at your mind. But you are strong, and you st you keep hold. You have something to focus on. So you continue. What would you like to do? You notice your friends are gone, and you stand alone. The one lone badger in the dark. Your paws are large. Can I still see, like, the rock behind me, or is it out of sight? No, it is out of sight now. As she is going through the trees. Um, you see she reaches a tree, she puts her hand onto it, the long nails dragging across the bark, starting to cut through it. And you see her glance over her shoulder at you, you see a smile before she continues to move along. Uh, I'll drop the badger and switch to a human and try and Shout out like Dragonette did and say. 
Uh, wait, who are you? You see a playful look on her face as she disappears behind a tree. Hmm. What will you do? This does feel a little bit like a trap, so I'll probably start backing up slowly at this point. Are you going to return to the others? Let her go? She's like fully out of sight at this point. Yep, you know she's she's moved behind that tree. You can see the tree she moved behind. All right, I'll, I'll move up to like here and try and talk again and just say we defeated the rock creature. Seems like that might have helped you. And you're speaking common, yes? Yeah. I think that's all. I have giant, but now they're calm. You hear her finally respond. And you still don't understand her voice, but you feel it. This feels heavy. The words punctuated after in odd places. She'll speak, stop, speak again, stop. This feels almost, you feel this language more than you see it. You feel it grinding against your bones. It feels like the earth itself is moving as she speaks. But you have no idea what she's saying. Roll me... I'd say a history check. All right. You recognize the language. You don't understand it. But you're just from your heritage, you have always heard there was an old tale of when the mountains would speak. It's an old ancient myth, speaking of the old primordials. That is the language in which she speaks primordial, the, ang the language of nature itself, the raw forces speaking to you. Okay, uh, and I also remember the other creature was a primordial, right? It was an elemental. Technically, gotcha. something close to a primordial. That one looked more like a uh, captured one, trapped like in a golem or something. Sure. but she has not reappeared. You can hear her speaking, though you do not understand. Her voice spins around you, trying to dig into your mind. But still you hold strong. Yeah, there's not much else I can do other than walk into this thing by myself or go backwards. You see her reappear on the other side of the tree. Her hip cocked to the side as she leans against the trunk. She seems to be waiting. I'm going to take out a good berry and hold it out 
see what happens. She remains where she is. You can see her gaze looking at you up and down. Seems to be studying you. I'll say, I can't understand you, and then like hold my arms up. Maybe she if she tilts her head. You don't think she understands you? By the way, Flint, if you want to look at um, artwork, you'll actually see what she looks like. She does not have a head. Weird. I mean, she she has a head, but she's not holding a head. Wait, in Discord? Yes. Okay, yeah, holding a head would be bad. Um, she does not have a head that she murdered. The, those nails look long and fucking dangerous, but they are not currently impaled on anything. And she doesn't seem... She doesn't look... She hasn't taken a combat stance. She doesn't look like she's looking to attack. She looks like she's more examining you. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep walking forwards. She remains where she is. I guess I'll get to not like melee distance, but close. You see, she tilts her head watching you. Uh, can I just use like druid craft around just to like make some flowers grow? You see the flowers start to grow and immediately start to go through a state of necrosis. Interesting. It's at that point she puts her hands behind her back. You can no longer see the claws as she steps forward into your personal space bubble. I'll take one step backwards. She doesn't follow. She waits to see what she will do. Uh, I don't really like what else to do. Uh, I'll like reach into my bag and look for. Do I have anything? Uh, I'll just pull out like some gold and hold it out in front. She tilts her head in the other direction. But she does step forward again. Slow, methodical. You can see her hips moving. They seem more exaggerated than a person would normally walk. Which is what draws your attention to it. What will you do, Flint? Yeah, with no way to communicate. Will you step back again? Uh, yeah, I'll like half turn and start walking back and like wave as if you see her reach out, put a hand on her shoulder. The nails digging against your armor, but not into it, just kind of scratching against it. Like you'd sharpen a blade against a uh, rock; it kind of digs into it a little bit. If the if it's well, if it's against leather, if you just kind of wipe it against, sometimes it will cut into it. Some kind of like that. But it's not meant to hurt you. They're just sharp fucking nails. And she pulls you a little closer. Are you letting her pull you close? Uh, let me see one second. Do I have a sense of how far away I am from? 
everyone. You're not actually sure. All right, I'm going to give it a long shot and just kind of like glance behind me and cast message, hopefully, to Naji if he's close enough. And in that moment just... of distraction, she moves quicker than you would have expected and bites into the side of your neck. It hurts for the briefest of moments, but then it's over. And she stepped back. She gives you a wave and starts to walk into the woods. Uh, do I get the message? You get a, Do you continue to cast it? Because uh, it's in the middle of your... Uh, yeah, I'll try to recast to Naji and just, if he gets it, say, uh, the lady bit me. <laughs> Where are you guys? <laughs> what a great message. And rats? <laughs> Meanwhile, at the rest of the party, we're going to go back to you guys real quick. I'll get to you in a second, Flint. Back to the rest of the party. As y'all are rushing off to chase this woman, y'all find at some point you lose track of Flint and her. Yeah. And find yourself walking back into this fucking clearing. What's gonna happen? Hi. Tired of this damn circle. Yeah, I'm tired raven of this in the back. Circle. Should we give her a coke too? I can give her the one y'all gave me. I don't mind my other one. Uh, I think she's uh. A bit more comfortable in her own skin. I'm fine with my skin. She looks down at her torso like... Eh, I'm not I'm not it. saying that, but it's probably best if, if you have the coat. She seems like she can handle herself. Oh, okay. If you're sure. Well, I trust Flynn's negotiation skills. Can we call out for Flint? Uh, All you hear is silence. Should we keep trying to walk in that direction? Yeah, what's the worst that's going to happen? We're going to end up right back here. Yeah, Grimmier's just going to start huffing and puffing. He's just going to punch himself in the forehead once or twice, and then he's just going to sprint into the woods. <laughs> yeah, let's just go. I mean, what's worst going to happen? We're going to end up right where we are right now. Yeah. Take a Okay. You'll sprint back off. Oh. And after a few minutes, you'll find yourself back here again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay, so the circle, since we destroyed the rock creature, has it changed any? Or like that rock? I mean, is it like a lot of it gone? Or, or is it completely gone? You can see the rubble of the thing on top of it. It fell on top of the bowl when it went down. So the bowl itself has fallen up over it. Bendar is currently being wrapped around by a snake. He's riding. I was riding on top of the head. Or the neck. Or whatever. Yeah, now that you're back, it's kind of starting to coil around you. Alright guys, let's start chopping trees <laughs> and building a house, because it seems like we're just <laughs> no. living here forever now. So, This is at the point, Naji, you hear Flint's response. Ah. Congrats. <laughs> Excuse me? What? It's... You wouldn't hear that. It's silent. He... The, the congr... it's... Oh, we wouldn't hear the congrats. That's right. Yeah. It's silent. I'm very confused. Like... You see Gnaji looks suddenly like his head kind of moves back as, not a... as he saw something he didn't expect or heard something. He looks a... You can't really tell because the fucker wears a faceplate all the time. Body language looks a little confused. Why? <laughs> it's like... It's... We're still trapped in the clearing. But I got your message, so... Did you negotiate our escape? It would only be the first bit that goes through. Okay. 
I just I, think I, to myself. <laughs> I, I got a message from Quinn, it seems. Flint, are you coming back, by the way? Uh, yeah, like, so she's disappeared, like, beyond eyesight. Just... Yeah, she's walking off. You can yeah. see her going off into the woods. Um, yeah, I'll message and I'll say it. I'm going to start to head back until I can see you guys, but I don't want to get stuck in the... It doesn't take long. Hole. Flint shows back up. <laughs> Bloop. He's back. I, I check Flint's bite wound, I guess. Yeah, you that's... can see there's a small green mark on the side of his neck. It kind of blends in with his skin. But it is a different shade. And it's already starting to fade. Uh... Flint, you have gained the Fae Touched feet. Oh. That's a pretty good one, though. <laughs> nice. Do I feel this change or not? I just, for now, you feel like your body's gotta... changed a little bit. You don't get the ability score increase, but you do get the abilities it has. So basically, oh, I feel kind of weirdly tingly. Stuff. Olivia's going to be so jealous. Yeah, or divination, or, and you get a first level divination or enchantment. It's yeah. wild. Nice. That's how I got gift of what a walk ready. And you can cast them without a spell slot. Yeah, you can. Well, yeah, either uh, one time. Yeah. yeah, once per long rest. And all that had to happen is you had That's to get amazing. bit on the neck by a creepy forest creature. Yeah, you got bit by a fey. This is just dread. this is just gonna encourage you later, Flint. Just, can I see if this? <laughs> That's fair. Can I see if this lets me? I'm gonna like turn around and walk back towards the direction I just came from and see if it allowed me to pass through or if I end up back here. You walking into the woods or down the path? Uh, back towards the woods where I came from with the weird failing. All right, you, you keep walking and walking and walking. And walking. A lot of trees. You also hear a howl in the distance. Okay. I'll I'll run back when I hear the howl. Until I assume I see them again. Yep. Oh. Are we free? Well it, it looks like I can go back out again, so maybe the bite helped with that. Alright. Yeah, we Attempt to hold hands and walk away yeah, out of here. Grab a shoulder. <laughs> How's Bendar doing through all this? He hasn't seen goddamn anything. He just saw everybody run off and he's been trying to follow. Yeah, yeah. I, I was following them, like, uh, basically, uh, Grimir when he ran off. Yeah, I know you followed him, but it's still the case. You're still not entirely sure as to what the fuck happened, so I'm curious what you're doing. Oh, yeah, I'm just like, I, I have, I'm I, just curious. Like, what happened with everything? Yeah. So, uh, Flint, um... Bite mark? Yeah, I mean, I can take a look at it. Um, I mean... Sure, I'll let him, let him inspect it. Do, do, a our, medicine our, uh, yeah, do our yeah arcana or medicine do. Do i do have proficiency in medicine this specifically is arcana okay i'll do arcana oh my god you're not gonna grow knives for hands in 10 days or anything one a one this is i can already grow out of your uh wheelhouse you're more fiends and planar shit this is one you're not too familiar with. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you the right at this. a weird-ass creature. There's maybe... That's gonna do to him. Maybe later I can re-examine it. 
Yeah, it's maybe uh, if you're watching Vendar, you see the mark fully disappear into Flint's skin. Well, it seems gone. Do you feel huh. sick? No, I feel very <laughs> You actually feel a little invig invigorating, Flint. Weird they kind of like that. And she just bit you on the neck? I'll like, uh... Yeah, I guess so. And then I'll close my eyes. And, uh... I guess I'll misty step 30 feet. This way and poof up over here. Bam. You see Flint explode in a green mist that immediately rushes in on itself as another one appears over near the remains of the golem or the elemental. Hmm. Neat trick. trick. Wish I would have gotten bit by a naked green lady. I wouldn't have even asked for powers. <laughs> well, Flint, it seems like we share things in common. You were, you were bitten? You were been bitten by naked green ladies? Well, not exactly. I was... I, I, well, I have something going on with, with the Fae. It's complicated. I don't know if that runs in my family or whatnot, but he basically casts Misty Step as well. Boom. And then ends up right next to him. So I'll use my free, you know, Misty Step um, spell. God, Bender, why does why does everything seem to run through? <laughs> I'm conflicted. I have Fair conflicting. The is conflicted. Who's that? That's just me making comments. You're good. Oh, oh, gosh. Gotcha. I thought it was, thought it was like some new villain or something. <laughs> or straw. No, the, the elemental's back. The boulder is conflicted. No. <laughs> nice. Boulder is dead. Punch a boulder. It would have talked if it could, but uh, it's it's very dead. Well, you're you're still alive, so that bodes well for me. Um, do I think this will make me a vampire? Old me Arcana. <laughs> Rose, you craved the blood of your enemy. You don't particularly feel like you're dying. So probably not. Okay. Okay. Well, she didn't kill me. She probably could have. Because she had finger swords. You want to take um, a look at this rose? She she looks. There, there's nothing left to look at. Can you tell me what you saw? I didn't see anything before you ran off. Yeah, it was a very tall, pale... Uh, female-esque creature with blades for fingers. Yeah, unless Flint Anything turns else? into a big naked green man, I don't see the problem. I mean, we did walk into the woods uh, that it seemed like there was kind of a song playing in the background. I did try to grow some flowers to like communicate, but they all died instantly. It's normal in these woods. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Um, you're not Flint. Bendar, would you like to make an Arcana check based on that? Sure. Information. See if you can identify this kind of creature, because you're more likely to identify it than Rose is. If Rose is from here and doesn't have much on planar. I would say she talked kind of like through the earth. It was kind of interesting. That's the comment that gets you, um, Bendar. The singing... The, com the talking through the earth. You recognize that as the description of somebody that has heard the primordial language. And you recognize this most likely as a siren. But not a normal siren. Their cousin. A forest siren. Which would explain where you are. Weird nymph creature? No. 
I see. A chaotic evil beast that usually is very vengeful and has a habit for murder. It would be real awkward when we got the killer later. No. Oh, Does great. you tell that to me? I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. Um, that's a... That sounds like a siren creature. A uh, forest siren, specifically. Um, yeah, that's not good news. They're chaotic, evil Sorry. creatures that... I walked into I mean, basically a death trap. It didn't hurt us though, so I'm. I mean, that's one thing. Yeah, Maybe they like, were thankful we killed this thing. I don't. Yeah, we, we freed her. You're now may or may not be her champion. Hey, you know what? We may get a favor in in return in the future. You can turn into mist. Pretty good. So if you bite somebody on the neck, you can give them powers? You hear from Raven over in the corner, standing next to... Well, not in the corner, she's just over standing next to Larry. Not all the time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that as a particular thing that's associated with them, but... Or would I? Or I, I'm actually not Didn't that... Didn't say... Wait. Who said there were multiple fiends in this link? Everyone. Everyone has said that. Yeah, so I mean... We just let another think... one loose. Well, this is a... This is a Fae. Primordial? This is Fae. Yeah. <laughs> oh, How do you yeah, think they're it's, worse than Fiends? It's still so awesome. Still so great. Well, I don't think they're gonna like each other, but... Kind of enemy, what? What? My enemy kind of thing? Oh, boy. Well, I say we try the old everyone hold hands and cross the street method and see if we can <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, Before we go, the path. Uh, I want to try and pick up some of this magical stone. It's still magical. It isn't. <laughs> hmm. I think they could... The magic out of it. I think I remember them oh. being able to shape change, so... Let's be wary. I take a piece of the stone anyways. Just as Fair a enough. Door stop for the future. It'll be a good memory. If we see a rock pick, you know. So we're gonna try to... He's always trying to steal stuff from Flint. <laughs> try to leave this place? Yeah. Yeah, let's Hopefully. follow Flint. Follow Flint. Grab a shoulder. Is snake, snake coming with us? Python, whatever it was. True. I imagine it is. Ben, are you leaving your snake behind? No, I'm just gonna leave it out. As long as there's enough, you know, room to move through the trees, should be fine. It's like a companion now. Okay. I do. I have to like, I like try and grab the tip of his tail. Yeah. Will he bite me? Surprised we haven't named the snake yet. <laughs> yeah, Benar can name the snake. Well, I think it's. It doesn't have a time limit. Snake just feels. Yeah. Can we all just ride the snake? I mean, whoever wants no, to ride. No, no, no. Okay. No. It is not that strong. It can get a couple of you, just not all of y'all. I was just hoping, like, just okay. to put on there and by extension, we're all what technically we with him. Yeah, so if two of you want to ride, you can. It could. It wouldn't actually be good at pulling a cart because it'd be under the yeah, cart. It'd be really awkward. That'd be so weird looking. <laughs> How strong is a fucking constrictor snake? Thank you. They're pretty four? strong. They're being, yeah. You can find a good way to. Uh, the issue is it's longer than the fucking uh, 
thing. If you could find a way to lash it or build a specific wagon that's up higher that it can slither underneath without hitting the wheels, you theoretically could. What if it just pushed it? It, would, it, it wouldn't be fast, and then it doesn't have much control over it because it would push, if you all go down a hill, it would just run away from it. But you, you all could theoretically have it pull a wagon. 19 string? Yeah. Or something like that. Stronger than horses and whatnot. By a lot. Hey, you just tie like a trailer hitch with rope around its neck, you know, at the bottom of the wagon so it can push it, but then if it goes going anywhere, the rope just, you know, hold the wagon. The snake the problem out. is it's a snake and it would just get pulled along. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have any feet to dig yeah, in. It's it not going to grip, you know. It's, a... it's strong, just not in that sense. That would be... Yeah. <laughs> like... Constricting That'd strong. Be chaotic. You could make it really cool, though. You could do something. Yes, you could. But are you all heading out? Yep. yep. Yeah, are we able to get out? I'll start to walk again. And you'll see, well, the, the forest does, not the forest, the mist does continue to surround you. Y'all do continue to make y'all's way out. Is there anything y'all would like to do as y'all are walking? You'll do not see the rock return. Alright, so we're making progress, right? Yeah. Hopefully we'll see Zico and the rest soon. It's gotten a little dark. Y'all spent a good bit of time there. But y'all do manage to get going a little bit, and just as things are getting dark, you see something that makes your hearts flutter. Something good. Do you want to know what you see? Ever. Well, first you see the fucking gate that y'all came through the first time, but just on the other side, there's something nice. A tower? Yeah. yeah. See the tower. It's the tower. My. <sighs> Quarterback is not with you. But as y'all rush up to it, it is very familiar. It's definitely Nemota's tower. You'll actually see somebody sitting in front of it. Da, 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 da. Oop, fuck. Give me back. Come on, computer, don't fuck with me. Do, 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 do. As y'all approach the tower, you see somebody standing on the front steps waiting for you. Mm. Welcome. Strad. I've been waiting. And oh, that, level, what, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to leave it for tonight. That's Strad. Strad yes. now? <laughs> Damn it! No. It looks that like Irina. The... Is it? No, I read No, it's head. Strahd. Yeah. Looks like Strahd. I can show you the picture I used for Irina. It's actually how. No, no, no. I'm looking at the icon and I see long black hair. Yeah, Irina, yes. Irina's a redhead. Yeah. Except the zoom in. See? Wow. <laughs> oh, got it. Thank you. Uh, I was about to say, did we just find out he's like colorblind or something? <laughs> oh, my, my favorite Dread Lord. What do you mean, redhead? There are no such thing as redhead. Like, what? What? <laughs> but yeah, good job, you guys. Good job. I'm glad y'all lived. <laughs> yeah, a oh, lot of bad. things were rolled. Same. Yeah, I did roll, like, very high as a badger. A lot, yeah, there were a lot of high rolls. Yeah. I'm yeah. thoroughly surprised that fucking badger lived. Except that wisdom check, though. That was great. Fail, fail, yeah. fail, fail, Man. fail. That's just... Of course, Flint would be the one to pass. 
<laughs> that would have been so much fun to roll. You could have just gotten literally a handful of dice and just threw them out on a table and just everything rolled threes. It was like, nice. <laughs> yeah, good job. I think that fight, that last bit with Flint would have gone very differently if anybody else had been with him. I would have cheered him on. <sighs> Interesting. Yeah, honestly, everyone saving might have helped me not get murdered. You didn't get murdered. You got bit. Oh, no, but no, if like, yeah, the three was... of us got through, they might have had a fight and we all died or something. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, maybe, but I still don't think it would have turned to that. I think it would have just turned to us trying to, like, do sign language, basically, and just been like, right. uh. <laughs> anyone, anyone have comprehend language? <laughs> yeah, like, someone would have been doing thaumaturgy, you were doing druid craft, and we're all sitting there like a group of idiots just doing all this weird stuff to try and communicate. <laughs> it's, it's... How does the tech thoughts work if you can't understand words? <laughs> Sounds real fucking weird. Funnily enough, the person that has comprehend languages, you'll just found. Mimonic, the Mimonic does, right? Well, I oh. think that's one character I think that uh, I have, the Thrycreen. He can tele uh, communicate telepathically, and like he can't understand who's like talking back to him, but they can understand him completely if they allow him to communicate that way. But I think that's like one nice. that's very interesting, is that he can say whatever he needs to to like someone, even though he may not be able to understand their response. so With the tech thoughts and whatnot, if you're trying to look, you can, uh, with telepathy, you can send images instead of words, so you can converse to a degree with that. Send emotions, send images, stuff like that. So there's ways around, but the fucking language barrier is a fucking pain in the ass. Oh yeah, um, it's always fun to deal with. Funnily yeah. enough, can I pick, like, uh, for this feat, can I take any of the divination spells, or is it like an assigned one? No, you get whichever one you want. It's a, I think it's divination or illusion. Or enchantment, yeah. No, it's only two. I don't remember. I don't remember what two it is. Man, my know. buddy was. I don't enough comprehend languages in divination. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I kind of put it to like use a little bit in Baldur's Gate, but it's like you do uh, the knowledge cleric, and then you do lore master bard, and like rogue, and. You just, you stack so many proficiencies, and then with your feet, you get proficient, and you are proficient in everything. It is awesome. <laughs> it's nice. So many good responses on everything. You're constantly rolling advantage on everything. It's so good. Well, y'all, it's a fun game. Yeah. I look forward to seeing what how y'all explain this to the frog. Yeah. Ah, uh, she'll she understand. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will hit y'all up later. Bye. Peace. Yep. Peace. Adios.